Hey guys. Hi Fabio. Hey JJ. Hi. Hey Brennan. Hey Fabio. We're gonna go over some examples and um, and then teach people how they should think through um, the spikes, non spikes. So it looks like we've got some spikes from your famous spike test here. Yeah, zero out of eight on the top left. This scores means um, the ground truth of uh, this spike sample. So we have a group of eight experts voting uh, for the same samples uh, from our database. So zero means, okay, all of them think this are not a spike. So, so we have, if you see, a, okay, this score may range from zero out of eight all the way to eight out of eight. So showing the group consensus from that um, um, group of experts. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about just what the waveform right in the center. Exactly. The center one second or center 0 0.5 five second EEP. And, and each of the eight experts um, saw these examples independent of each other. So they didn't, they didn't get to talk. They just said to say yes or no. Um, mm -hmm. cool. So if we have zero out of eight, JJ, does it mean that none of them voted for this being a spike? Exactly. All of them say says it, it is not a spike. Okay. Is it okay if I say something about philosophy for a moment? Of course. <laughs> okay. So, so I have a philosophy about spikes. Um, so I see that you have this little picture up in the upper right hand corner that is about the IFCN definition of spikes or and ILAE definition of spikes, and they use these six criteria to try to help define what they are but my philosophy is that actually although i think that's quite helpful i don't think it's what people really do uh in their heads uh at least not explicitly and and i don't actually think it's the right definition of spikes <laughs> so i think the right definition is the older definition um which is basically that that uh so before that paper there was a paper that said a spike is the kind of wave that you see in the EEGs of patients who have epilepsy, but not in other people. And so it doesn't try to define it in detail because um, it's basically saying you learn it from experience. Mm -hmm. uh, by seeing a lot of EEGs from patients who do have epilepsy and a lot from people who you know, you know, either probably don't have epilepsy and you kind of learn to tell the difference, but it's it's notoriously hard to, to um, operationalize exactly what that means, for example, to to program a computer to, 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 you know, to just recognize what one is based on a few rules. And so I think, I think we're gonna go through these six rules as kind of a guideline, but eventually you have to kind of learn um, uh, what, what they look like. Yeah. And that, that's the philosophy. That, that sounds good, it's good philosophy. Do you wanna take us through the six, the six criteria? Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Each one of us does one. So I'll start with okay. the easy one. So one is the morphology. So if um, if it's a spike or um, or a sharp wave, therefore an epileptiform discharge. So yeah. Morphology. So number one is it hurts to sit on it. Okay. <laughs> then I think number two is the the width of that wave should be uh, different from the width of waves in the neighboring background. Mm -hmm. By the way, these things don't all have to be true. They, it's just you count up how many of them are true. And then the recommendation is that if four out of six or more are true, then you, then you say yes, and otherwise you say no. Did you mention the duration uh, with numbers, like uh, between how many milliseconds? Did you say anything? They, they don't in the, in the new definition. Oh, just say different from the background. Yeah. I see. Okay, I'm gonna take the third one. The third one is talking about asymmetry, mm -hmm. about the peaks. Uh, if you divide this into two half waves, the, the rising and falling, the slope of them should be different. Okay. The fourth is whether it has an after going slow wave, and if it does, it's suggestive of being epileptiform. No. And then the, the fifth one has to do with whether it jumps out of the background or not, whether it is an anomaly relative to the other surrounding waves. Mm -hmm. Number six is talking about whether it has a uh, physiological field mm -hmm. um, yep. on the source map. Right. Right. 
Perfect. But, yeah. So let's start. The answers are already shown here, but we I think we can see pretty easily that this first example, there's nothing right, right at the center. There's nothing spiky, um, and so <laughs> I think without that, it's kind of hard to proceed. But yeah, there's nothing spiky. There's no wave that has you know sort of uh, to talk about the asymmetry of its. Right. Heat. I think you kind of have to have a sharp transient. There's not even really a transient here. This looks like a just a randomly selected piece of background. Yeah. Could, it, could it be this guy here though? Or the, no. The yeah, it's no. Only the center. Only the center. It's only the center. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. Let's look at the next one. One out of eight. I think they're talking about this guy because it's the exactly at the midline, and maybe we go one by one. JJ, what do you think morphology wise? Um, for point number one, yeah, it it hurts if you're sitting on it, so it has a pointy peak. Okay. Cool. Well, number two. I, I, I think that the wave duration is not very different from the other waves nearby. Okay, so no points. I think it's pretty symmetric. It's a no point for number three. Yeah. Number four, um, no, I don't think there's a, a weird slow wave coming after that. No. Okay. Five, I, I'd say it does jump out from the background. All right, so one point there. And then six for a field. It does have a field-ish. We can switch to average to make sure. And we can see it's at F4, a little bit of a field F C. So it makes it makes sense. Um, so we have how many points? We have a field, we have morphology, and stand out. Yep. Yeah, three. So not enough. Not enough. Although okay. somebody thought it did have enough. One out of eight people thought so. True. All right. And it's a no. No for us. Nope. Cool. All right. So mm. two out of eight. So midline yeah. right here, talking about this guy. Mm. What do you guys think? No for morphology. It's not very pointy. Is it different from the surround? Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's one point. Okay. Pretty symmetric though. So no points there. Yeah. After going slow wave. Perhaps. I, I think it has a something afterward that could be. Well, I was looking at the next wave. Yeah. This guy. I think we could say yeah to that one. Okay. Um, and field. Yeah. Okay. Does it disrupt the background? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. We already have more than four. <laughs> <laughs> we have four. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so why do we think this is a good case in point, though? Why do we think it's not a? Why do we think it's not a, a epileptiform discharge? I think JJ maybe mentioned one argument because it could be a vertex wave. It's possible. Yeah. 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 Can we go to average again? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's probably what's what it is. Well, you know, we've we've seen enough of these that we know this this could have an alternative explanation, even though it's got four out of six criteria. It's it's um the it's it's something that's normal in sleep. So this is not a spike. Yeah. Although two people voted yes to be two said two said it was. Okay. Yeah. But for us it's not though. For us, okay. no. Because because we know the answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, all right. These are getting yeah. harder. Okay. JJ, what do you think? Morphology. It has a morphology. The pointy pig. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with duration. I'd say the wave duration is not different from those little you know, right. alpha waves nearby. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's symmetric, I think. I think, right. yes, symmetric. Yeah. No point. It has a slow wave though. Beautiful yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Okay. It does disrupt the background. We catch it, we caught it pretty well. Well, does it? I, I'm not sure it disrupts the background much. No. I mean, it's got the pointy shape that caught our eye. And I guess you have to go in slow. Uh, okay. Wave? I guess it disrupts the background. Yeah. It's going to happen though. Right, it is. <laughs> does it? Does it does it have, have a field. field. Yeah, it does. 
Uh, <laughs> shoot. So if we, I mean, it gets four points. Yeah. But I still, I don't know, actually. This, this one, this could be a spike. I, I feel like it's probably not, but it's suspicious. Yeah. About three out of eight times I saw something like this, I would say that it is a spike. One is indeed the hard one. We have three out of eight, which is close to 50%. That's true. Yeah. 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 I mean, I yeah. So. I think it's a spike, a beautiful okay. spike. Yeah, I I kind of think it is too, actually. So, yeah, maybe maybe it's just the three of us. But we're we're the experts. Maybe maybe that's us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's do another one that's even harder now. Okay, but for our for our rating for and scoring purposes, this was it wouldn't be considered a spike, right? For oh. yeah, I mean, in the test, the if we would be wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only three out of eight, not four out of eight, said yes. Okay. Four out of eight. This little guy. Pretty mm -hmm. tiny. Yeah. All right. Let's do one by one. It is okay. it is sharpish looking, especially, I guess, if the gain is increased. Mm -hmm. Easier to see. Okay. Two. I think the duration is different. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Okay. Symmetry. It's asymmetric. Yeah. Right. Right. Steeper going up than down. Than down. Okay. So two points so far. Um, mm, after going slow way? I'd say no. Yeah. Not well formed one. Right. Okay. Does it disrupt the background? Yeah. We tr can we try average? Oh. FP2. You, you guys think it disrupts the background? I don't know. I'd say no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards now. I mean, okay. disruption of the background is, uh, you know, on a continuum. I, by this doesn't stand out very much. Mm. Okay. More subjective. Okay. And then and how about number four? Does it have a field? Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> how many points have so we got four points. Yep. All right. This is the point of maximum anxiety because it's it's kind of hard. Right. Middle. Oh yeah, that's true. No. Now life gets better. Okay. Five. Ah. <laughs> okay, right. AJ, which one are we talking about here now? Is it this guy here? Uh can you switch montage to yeah. Uh, it's yeah, probably that one. This one? The F4. So. Yeah, F4. F4. Okay. So let's go back. Yeah. F4, F4, F4. This this guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. It is it is sharp to one point there. Yeah. Wave duration. I I think it's different. Well, is it? Maybe not. Maybe not. There's a lot of things like that. Yeah. That one looks like a spike, though. Right. I think th there's a lot of spikes in this page. Yeah. Yeah. But I think when we look at the background segments, it's I think it's different from the background segments. Yeah, I think that it's different from those. Yeah. Okay. All right, you convinced me. Um, symmetry? JJ, what do you think? I think it's symmetric. You think it, it's symmetric or not symmetric? It's symmetric. You think it is symmetric? Okay. I th this is one of those things where I think it's, you know, a little hard to judge. But um, to me, it looks asymmetric. But it depends on whether you where you stop counting the slope or what start uh, stop evaluating the slope. Let's switch to average. So oh, keep up and then. Oh, I take it back. It looks symmetric. I agree with JJ. Yeah. I should have known not to disagree with JJ. <laughs> you should know better by now, Dr. Listover. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, after going slowly for sure, right? That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Does it disrupt the background? JJ, what do you think? Oh, yeah. It's, um, I think so. So if you're looking yeah. at P2 minus at four, yeah, it's stand out from the background. Yeah. Okay. As these guys do too, but we think there's 
spikes as well, right? Those are just other spikes, even yeah. more clear. In the same page. We got yeah. a really beautiful one at the end of the page here. That's oh, yeah. That's right. That's true. Yeah. yeah. We're not yeah. talking about that one, though. We're talking no. about the one in mid lane. But it does make this one a little easier, right? Because we can see all these examples of spikes. It's cheating. No, no, it's actually not. You're supposed to do that. Oh, really? Uh, we can take into account the context. We just, yeah. we just, what we're scoring is the thing in the middle, though. Okay, gotcha. Use it. Okay. Yeah, and I it has a field. I but missed one, Yeah, but that one should be eight out of eight. <laughs> yeah, that one would be eight out of eight, right? Right, right. Okay, and does it have a field? It does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah F8. So. Four. Okay, cool. So it is. So points, you got, yeah, we, I think we added up more than four. Yeah, morphology, after going slow wave, just right. background and field, four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Six out of eight. Hmm. Let's say, so yes to spikiness. Mm -hmm. One it's point. different from the ongoing wave, you know, duration. Two points. Asymmetric. Do you think it's asymmetric? I think uh, it's. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It looks symmetric to me. I don't know. I would say it's not asymmetric. No, maybe not. OK. So and then two slow points wave, points. yes. Three points for after going slow wave. Yeah, disrupt the background, background yes. Four, and field five. Yeah. Right? So this has five, yeah. OK, cool. It is a spike. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy. I wish we could switch the game here. Is this hips arrhythmia? I think it's hard to tell, right? Just looking at this. Yeah, we need the we would need the gain to be down, but yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of little spikes all over here. Right. Yeah. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> Putting myself sitting on them all. <laughs> Yeah, even, oh, even ouch. <laughs> yeah, we can skip this one. This one's pretty obvious. <laughs> okay. Two, 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 seven out of eight. Too terrible. Okay. <laughs> eight out of eight. Okay, this is textbook. It's a nice one. Oops. There we go. That's easy. Yeah. Look at the average montage. Yeah. Right. So Spiking one for morphology. Duration is different, right? Different. Different. After going slow, slow wave is there. Beautiful one. His rough background it has everything. It has a field. I, I, I'm 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 not persuaded that it has the asymmetric slope. Um, I think it's just because the the down going slow going slow is bigger. Yeah. Do you think it? Do you think I, it's asymmetric? I think it's asymmetric. The, 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 the falling half is, is sharper. I mean, okay. yeah, I think I agree with I you. I find it hard to judge I, I, because I know like the down going part is longer and that. And this slope is, 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 is higher. Okay. Um, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. So we have all the points. So we have right. six points. Yeah. All right, so that's it. So whenever you're taking the test, you should go over the six criteria in your head and try to make a call. But as you get better and better, you can just trust your feelings. Or trust AJ if she's hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs>